Good day, Dominic Nation. Welcome to the vlog. It is almost 11 o'clock. Uh, Sunday morning, May 29th, I believe. Beautiful day once again. Uh, we didn't go to the cottage uh, for a couple of reasons, but one of the reasons was my mom thought it was going to be crappy weather. Not. I put the video together, and while I was watching the video, I remembered um, Jason said basically, you know, you know, you, you forgot he wasn't being mean or anything. Jason's an awesome guy. He was just saying, "You forgot my birthday, and I've known you for two years on on Facebook." And so uh, I'm trying to solve these problems all the time. And uh, so I always tell people, like I just told you yesterday in yesterday's vlog, that. Uh, if I don't get the notification, then either it's Facebook's fault or your fault for either following uh, my KBD Productions TV or um, and also having your um, your birthday hidden. So here's the example. I asked Jason if I could do this, and he said no problem. It would be an honor. So I'm using Jason as the example. So here is what I got mailed for Saturday, May 28th. Here's all the names, and Jason is not on there. So everybody else is getting a shout out today. So I, I went to Jason's uh, Facebook. I was going to turn the camera monitor around. Okay. So here we go. So here's Jason's Facebook. Nice, sweet. And then you can click the about. And so here's his overview of everything. So when you have your birthday right here, as you can see where my mouse is, if you have your birthday set to ask for Jason's birthday, uh, then I do not get notification. So Jason has to uncheck that. Uh, if he wants to Facebook to notify me that it's your birthday and that's how you get a shout out. So if you're curious about the whole birthday shout out thing and you wonder why I missed it, whatever, that is probably 100% the reason. And just to triple check it, I actually started going through people I knew uh, and people I knew who don't want you to know who where their birthday is and if they want you to know their birthday then the birthday shows up there let me show you Ben's just to get an idea yeah Ben has uh, some personal information on there so I can't really show you but his birthday it actually said actually has like a little birthday cake uh, emoji and then it says October 2nd 1999 so that's what it's supposed to look like if Facebook is to notify me that it's your birthday cool Nice. I also forgot to show you guys yesterday that I cleaned the fish tank, totally took it apart, redid it all. So I took the boat out, it's it's outside drying. I might put it back in, I might not, uh, but there was so much algae on it. So we've got some babies floating around in there. I'm not sure if you can see them. They must have been just born last night because the mummy is much skinnier and there's a whole lot of little tiny babies in there. And uh, there's lots of places for them to hide. When you have guppies, then uh, you need places for these guys to hide. And I, th I think they think it's feeding time, but I fed them yesterday. I need to feed them tomorrow morning. Yeah, there's quite a few little tiny guys in there that weren't there yesterday, like I said. So I'll put in uh, two new plants there. One, uh, I guess it's a plant plus grass, and then this new item plus all new gravel so it is looking sweet uh, a few months ago when i went and bought some new fish and all those plants and i was supposed to clean it back then but i threw in all the four glass cleaners or, or algae eaters and unfortunately all four of them died and uh <laughs> there's just too much algae they overate so uh, i'm gonna probably get four more and see how it goes because I kind of like them. I like having multiple different fish in there. It's air conditioning time. We'll still need the fan to push the air that way and that way. So this is where we put the air conditioner in and the, for the summer. Uh, I can't remember if it should be sticking out that far. I usually remember, yeah, it's pretty much exactly where it's supposed to be. We got some foam, we got some wood. Uh, one of the things that really ticks me off every single year is when I put up all the stuff around it to stop bugs from coming in, stop the air from escaping. Uh, I gather all that stuff up and try to keep it in one spot. And uh, unfortunately, from the time that I put it in here to the time I need it again to put it out, it gets moved, it gets uh, put somewhere else, people put stuff on top of it, and then I don't know where it is, so now I gotta go on a scavenger hunt to try and find all the pieces. So sometimes I'll put them on my workbench and then sometimes somebody will clean the workbench 
and then I've lost it. So I gotta go look and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Last but not least, I did find some of the stuff. So I put like an insulation here, an insulation here. It's gotta make sure our vents aren't covered up. There we go. Push that in a little bit more. Oh, pushed it right through. Uh, when I put the duct tape on, it will fix that up. Duct tape is just gonna keep the bugs out, keep rain out. Uh, it's only for two months, basically, so. Uh, the other thing too is Carol did tell me she called uh, a couple companies to see how much it would cost to throw in real air conditioning. So we'll wait for that phone call. Let me get this done. The air conditioner is in. We just finished cleaning out a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if you remember when we first came in here. This was all cluttered all the way through here. Got rid of a bike, got rid of a wall unit thing, uh, all the wood that was on the floor that was impeding our thing. We just got to do a little tidy up just to organize a bit better. Uh, it'd be nice if I actually built something where we can you know, move those in. Um, but it is like, I'm not sure if you can see how hot it is, but it is crazy. Let me do that again. Super hot. There's a lot of stuff in here we need to get rid of over time, uh, but it's just too hot right now. And the winter time is too cold, so we never do it. <laughs> so it's all done. There you go. Just enough to keep out rain, bugs. That's all you need, really. Um, and then I've got insulation on the inside. I think I have more too. Uh, that, and Carol also just remind or just told me that one of the air conditioning companies just called. And we're good to go. Oh, they'll be here on Tuesday. All right, it's two o'clock and we're at the Tanger Outlet Mall. This is Leah. You guys know Ben. Hello. They've been dating for nice over, over two months. Yeah. Have you hit the three month mark? Yet? Almost. 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 So Almost. we... <laughs> he's got it on his, he's got it on his calendar. No, 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 I just, I just know what day it is. Anyway, so we were just about to go down to Bradford because I was going to do a food review. Carol needs to shop. Ben needs, uh, or Ben shorts. and Leah wanted to go swimming. I need some shorts. And he, Ben mentioned shorts, and Carol said, "Well, Eddie Bauer is like 50% off." So she talked us into. It reminded me of the Truman Show because she was kind of <laughs> the Truman Eddie Show. Bauer. Oh, yeah. She was like. 50% off everything in the store. And Eddie Bowers, go down. That's right. It seemed like a commercial. Go out, go out and get it now. This is a gap. 30% off on the gap. So just before we left, I was I was watching a uh, video on uh, how to edit in Final Cut Pro X, because I'm thinking about moving up to that. It's about $399 Canadian, so I'm debating. Need to save up some more money. Uh, and then I also watched some drone footage on how to use it, which one's the best one, and so the Phantom something seems to be good. Anyway, there's Eddie Bauer, and we'll show you what shorts we buy. I've never been in Eddie Bauer. I didn't buy it. They got good stuff. All right, so it's 50% off. I'm gonna grab this color and this color. That's uh, 35 to 36, which is what I am. Nice. Ben's trying on some duds. Very vibrant. I went with uh, earthy tones for rock, for rock climbing and uh, food reviews. You wouldn't lose you. We came, we conquered. We bought a lot. Of, we bought a lot of stuff. It was really That's common. about four that's about eight pounds worth of stuff. Yeah, that was a solid shop. Like I actually I picked out things went that in, I liked. Grabbed the stuff. And they all fit, they all like Same nice. Thing. They all looked yeah. nice. I didn't try my shorts on, but yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll fit. Alright, just dropped uh, we dropped Leah off, but we before that we we hit uh, Harvey's and, and Ben, Leah, and, and Carol all got some Harvey's lunch, uh, and then we picked up or we dropped Leah off, and then we picked up, or yeah, we picked up Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's uh, just purchasing his first big computer or first computer. Uh, my, my first big computer. Yeah. Your first big computer. Yeah. Which is cool, and. Uh, and then we just drop Carol off to shop, and then I'm dropping these guys off for the, the pool extravaganza. Yeah. Yeah. 
dropped the boys off. Now I'm at the, I'm not sure what plaza this is called. The Marsh, the Holland Marsh Square. That's what it's called. So the subway's over there. I'm gonna do a six inch sub again. Uh, one of the things I noticed in the last video was there was stuff in the back seat like this. And the camera could see it. Nobody asked what it was, but it was a tissue box, but it was all you could see was yellow. So I'm gonna try and save some of my time. And, uh, cause I don't have a lot of time to edit this tonight. Cause I'm going to help my buddy, um, Jim. I'm gonna be helping him move from his house. And uh, so, and then there's only a few more days left and I'm off to Galveston, Texas. So I'm gonna set up my camera. I'm gonna use this camera. Just shoot it, edit it, get it done, and I'll be out for you guys tomorrow. Well, today, because this is the day you'll be watching it. All right, just finished up my review. Just packing up, I gotta go pick up Carol. She went shopping while I did this review. Oh. I've unplugged the microphone from my camera so now I can just take off my lights. Light two. Put that in there. Uh, light one. Microphone. Shut off the microphone. That should be good. That's all she wrote. Nothing else? Nope. You guys get a heads up before anybody else does. But it was a disaster. I couldn't open my chocolate milk for 40 seconds. I've never had this much trouble opening up a freaking chocolate milk in my life! Oh, disaster days. Disaster days! Which is a really long time to open a carton of milk but I couldn't open it. It like ripped and then the thing folded out, but then there was still another weird ass lining. And it's making the actual drinking of it unbearable. But hey, you do what you gotta do. We've stopped at the honey place because Carol has to have her honey. Honey, and she buys local honey from this uh, little shack here. Let's see, he's got onions growing. I, I asked him if uh, he would be willing to <laughs> make me a beer, a bee beard. Uh, he's like, ah, oh, no, I wouldn't be interested in that. And he said, maybe, if I, maybe if when I was in my 20s, but uh, and I had a couple beers in me for sure, but. He didn't want to do it. I've always wanted to have him to try it anyway. And now it's time for the shoutouts for Monday, May 30th, and they are Stephen, Eva, Darren, Samina, Sean, Connor, Antonio, Muse, and Brendan. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday.